Hey what's up guys it's Osby with Rough Country and today we're going to install Rough Country's four and three quarter inch combo lift kit. This kit has a three and a half inch suspension lift kit and it has the one and a quarter inch body lift kit. Be sure to have your instructions on hand just in case you get lost and need a reference. To begin jack up the vehicle and remove all four tires. Loosen and remove the tire rod nut. Strike the side of the mount to dislodge the tire rod in. Once you've done that, remove the tire rod from the knuckle. Remove the sensor wire from the plastic clip. Make sure to remove and unplug the ABS sensor wire from the frame. After that, remove the bracket from the control arm. Next, remove the upper ball joint nut. After that, strike the knuckle as shown to dislodge the ball joint. Separate the upper control arm from the knuckle. Then, remove the upper strut nuts as shown. You want to retain the factory hardware for reuse later. After that, remove the two bolts securing the lower strut mount to the lower control arm. Next, remove and discard the factory lower retainer clips and remove the strut from the vehicle. Mark the location of the alignment cams on the upper control arms to allow installation of the new arm to the same position. Then, remove the upper control arms from the vehicle. Make sure to retain the hardware for reuse later. Then remove the drive shaft bolts. Then remove the six axle shaft bolts and secure the axle shafts out of the way. Repeat the process on the opposite side. The next step is to remove the upper factory skid plate. Then unplug the electrical connector on the differential. Next remove the four differential bolts. Make sure that the differential is still secured to the frame. After removing all four bolts, slowly lower the differential assembly to the ground. Next, mark the area of the differential that will be removed. Then, cut and grind away the marked portion of the cooling fin. Grind until it is flush with the casing. Then, locate and remove the stock differential bracket that is on the passenger side of the vehicle. Remove the factory studs using a hammer. Install the supplied differential bracket to the stock mount as shown. Make sure the taller end of the bracket is to the front. Make sure and tighten the nuts. Reinstall the stock differential bracket in the stock location using stock hardware. On the driver's side, locate and secure the new differential mount drop bracket to the stock location. Slowly reinstall the differential on the Rough Country differential drop brackets in the threaded holes. 
be sure to tighten down the four bolts. Next, reconnect the connector plug on the differential. Next, reinstall the drive shaft bolts and carefully tighten. Install the new control arm as shown. Tighten down using the reference mark that we made earlier. Locate the supplied strut spacer and install the supplied stud extensions. Make sure to snug the self-quenching stud in the new spacer as shown. Install the strut spacer on the factory strut with factory hardware. Install the strut assembly in the factory mount with the supplied nuts and washers on the upper mount. Install the strut in the lower control arm using the supplied bolts, washers, and nuts. Reinstall the knuckle to the upper control arm with the supplied castle nuts and cotter pins. Then reinstall the tie rod end into the knuckle with factory hardware. Reinstall the brake line bracket on the new control arm with the supplied lock nut and washer. Then reconnect the ABS wire that was previously disconnected. Reinstall the axle shafts to the differential with the factory hardware. Reinstall the sway bar on the lower control arm. Locate and install the new lower skid plate below the differential in the factory location. Loosen the upper and lower bolts and then remove the factory shock absorbers. Retain the factory hardware. Next, loosen and remove the factory U-bolt plate and the factory U-bolts. Lift the leaf spring and install the block on the factory spring pad with a flat part of the block on the spring and the thinner end towards the front. Jack up the axle to meet the springs, making sure to align the center pin. Next, install the new U-bolts and U-bolt plate. Be sure to tighten them down. Take the time to put the Rough Country decal on the new shock absorbers and then install the new shock absorbers using the factory hardware. Be sure to repeat the entire process on the opposite side of the vehicle. That completes the suspension lift portion. Now let's focus on the body lift. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to raise the hood and remove the eight plastic clips from the radiator bezel. Next, remove four bolts from the grill. Then pull on the lower portion of the grill to release the clips. Make sure to retain all hardware for use later. Remove four of the clips from under the rubber shroud that is attached to the bumper. Unplug the fog lights on the bumper if they're equipped. Next, remove the bumper support brackets that are located near the front of the body mount. These brackets attach the bumper to the frame.
Remove the two upper bumper bolts and remove the bumper from the truck. Make sure to remove the ground wire from the firewall. Also, remove both ground wires from the frame that are located on the front mount. Be sure to retain the hardware for reuse later. Next, remove the upper radiator hose and the overflow hose from the fan shroud as shown. Disconnect the air intake hose from the air box using a Phillips screwdriver and needle nose pliers. Lock the steering wheel and mark the location of the upper and lower parts of the steering shaft. Then remove the shaft bolt. Remove the starter wire and O2 sensor wire from the passenger side of the vehicle. Then, remove the four bolts securing the skid plate to the frame. Disconnect the emergency brake cable at the connection on the frame. This is located just below the driver's side door. Remove the front part of the cable from the frame. Loosen all cab bolts on both driver and passenger side front body mounts. Make sure to remove body mount hardware one side at a time. Using a jack stand or hydraulic jack with wood blocks, slowly lift the body from the truck. Lift only enough to place a body spacer on top of the body mount. Apply thread lock to the three supplied bolts and install for the three body mount on the passenger side. Apply thread lock to the two supplied bolts and install for the front body mounts. Repeat for the driver's side. Reconnect the engine ground wire to the firewall using the supplied ground extension bracket. Reconnect both front body mount ground wires. Reinstall the intake hose to the air box and reconnect radiator hose to the top of the radiator. Reconnect the upper and lower parts of the steering shaft. Next, reconnect the emergency brake cable. Remove the two bolts from the driver and passenger side front bumper brackets. Retain the stock hardware. Mark the front tow hooks as driver and passenger top and remove hardware. Measure 1 and 7 16 inches down from the second bumper mounting hole and mark. Then drill a hole using a 1 half drill bit. Install tow hooks so they are upside down and install the stock bolts. Install new front bumper brackets using stock hardware. Adjust the bracket up as high as it will go and tighten. Next, install the front bumper using stock hardware. Adjust so that it is straight on the truck. Then, install lower bumper brackets using stock bolts. Reinstall the rubber shroud with stock clips. 
Reinstall the front skid plate with the stock hardware and tighten. Then install the grill using stock bolts. Reinstall the radiator bezel with the eight stock clips. Next, unplug the license plate light connector. Remove the three bolts from the passenger and driver side frame that mount the bumper to the frame. Remove the four bolts located in the receiver hitch. Next, remove the bumper and set it aside. Loosen the six bed bolts, but only remove one side at a time. With a jack stand or hydraulic jack and wood block, raise the passenger side slowly. Raise the bed up enough to install body spacers. Install four body spacers per side and add Loctite on all the supplied bolts and washers. With the bumper still removed, use the supplied template to mark and drill the new holes in the frame. Drill the holes using a half inch drill bit. Be sure to mark and cut the outer mount off of the bumper as shown. Reinstall the bumper on the mounts and install the supplied bolts in the hitch as shown. Finally, reinstall all four tires. And here she is with the Rough Country 4 and 3 quarter inch combo suspension lift kit. If you're interested in having a kit like this on your Chevy or GMC, be sure to check out www.roughcountry.com. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on YouTube. From Rough Country, I'm Osby, and we'll see you later.